Hello and welcome. I'm here in Abbey Leaks Bog, just doing a little plein air study. This isn't a finished painting, it's information gathering. Um, I'm tucked over in a corner. It looks like rain today, so I've put myself in a spot near the trees. It's quite busy as well. Starting with a sketch, that's just a little Van Dyke brown. No mediums are used. I, n I never use mediums. And a dry brush. And I'm just scratching it in there. What I'm doing is the design, figuring out where my darks, the design perspective. But most importantly, my central focal point. What has made me paint this particular scene? It's those two tr trees in front. But if you look towards the trees, it looks very green, but there's a lot of um, heather in there, which the camera isn't picking up but it's a little bit more obvious to me and also of interest is the perspective behind the trees which I can see and obviously the camera can't and that's the whole point of actually the plein air study. A photograph will never give you the information that you can gather when you're painting outdoors. So I have the two trees in and just putting in the shadows. And that's just fast. There's no point drawing perfect images. You waste so much time. You don't have that much time. Particularly, as I said, it's going to rain. I'm in a little bit less hurry than the camera. trees there to the right in the mid distance so I'm getting the focal point in shadows my palette is simple I travel very very light I can't carry a great deal so for the most part I just use that little easel it's very very lightweight. I bring three colours, a red, a blue and a yellow and today I have two yellows because there's so much green out here I have a cool and a warm yellow and white and that's it. A little palette, tissues or um, kitchen towel, uh, two brushes and they're not high-end brushes they're cheap and a couple of palette knives and I probably only use one and that's it I can mix my colors quickly and um, I would do a basic dark green and a couple of different values in green, one with red, one with red and yellow, and one with just a green blue. So here's the real dark green going in now just to um, isolate the darks and the foreground and the central focal point. It's gotten pretty dark out here now. I don't paint the sky at this stage 
I find often if I start with the sky, it informs the rest of what I'm doing. In other words, if I paint the sky too dark, the rest of what I'm doing is going to fit the sky rather than what I see. So I just concentrate on the focal point first to get that in quickly to what I'm looking at and I'm constantly looking up. As you can see there, the red reds are in the foreground. And then as you move back away from you, you drop the red. And then you drop the yellows. And then you're heading towards blue in order to get your distance. So those trees in the background will just appear blue-gray. I think just at this point, the gods looked at me yes, and gave me a little blue sky. <laughs> the sun shone for a minute. My blue is cobalt blue. I can push cobalt blue either warm or, or cold. It's perfect for our Irish skies. There's grey blue in the background, and that's what gives you your your perspective, your distance. It's raining. We're starting to rain, but it's soft rain. It's okay, I can keep going. Almost done. Just putting a warm grey to define the trees in the foreground. And there you have it. I may never paint that painting in a larger work, but what I will have is information and a number of plein air studies that will just, I, I, I'll constantly refer to them and I'll go back to them again and again. What does that tree look like if I'm doing something else? And it's really good practice in, in perspective. And thank you for watching. And thank you to Leash Arts Office and the Dunmace Arts Centre for all their support.